If we look at this representation of a molecule, you can see the electron density in this molecule is pretty evenly distributed currently. However, as electrons move around, this will lead to an uneven distribution of electron density, known as an instantaneous dipole, with the delta negative region and the delta positive region, slightly negative and slightly positive, as shown in the new representation here. Now, if we bring a second molecule adjacent to our first molecule, the delta positive region of our first molecule will attract electrons in that neighboring molecule towards it. This will form what is known as an induced dipole. And look at what happens to our molecule here. The induced dipole now has electrons to one side and a delta negative region, next door to the delta positive region of the original molecule. So the delta positive region of our original molecule will now attract the delta negative region of the neighboring molecule, and this creates an attraction known as an instantaneous dipole induced dipole interaction. Let's look at a trend or pattern related to this. As you go down group seven, the atoms in the molecules get bigger. This seems related to an increasing boiling point of those molecules as we descend the group. So why is this happening? Can we explain this using our knowledge of instantaneous dipole induced dipole interactions? Well, as we go down the group, the atoms are getting bigger. This means the atomic radius is increasing. There are more shells filled with electrons and therefore greater electron density surrounding the nuclei of these molecules. The movement of these electrons around will lead to larger delta negative and delta positive charges in our instantaneous dipoles as they form. These would induce stronger dipoles in neighboring molecules, leading to stronger instantaneous dipole induced dipole interactions to form and hence a higher boiling point. Take care, guys. Bye for now.